loves welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm danielle naomi in today's video as you can see from the title we'll be doing this gorgeous beautiful easy beginner friendly wig install so this wig is from don Millie hair this is the box that they sent it in she is a five by five lace closure unit she is super thin i love the lace on this wig it is a 20 inch body weight wig as you can see i curled her up and she's just so dolled up and cute like this wig is really affordable it was really easy to install and you'll see throughout this video i go in depth in certain parts of the video so definitely just keep watching if you'd like to see how i do this wig my instagram is at she's your fave and i definitely will be posting a picture in this gorgeous unit because look at her she is so cute this wig is gorgeous and i know you would love to purchase so the links will be in the description box for you to do so uh did i say she's really affordable because she is and yeah so let me stop rambling let's jump into this tutorial where i'll show you the whole nine on how i got this wig to look like this so just keep on watching and let's get into the tutorial honey I'm really loving this lace right now like do y'all see how nice oh okay let me just cut it Three fingers they said is enough forehead from your eyebrows to like your hairline so this is actually she's she's good enough I feel like she gives you know it's not too crazy and the hairline is like looking like a hairline so let me just zoom y'all out a bit and we'll get into glue and baby hairs so right now i'm gonna just glue my unit down i'm gonna be using erica j's glue i already took some out on my hands i'm just gonna pull my wig back and just like spread it just take her back here Are you seeing this lace? Cause I'm not even seeing this lace. This is literal sorcery. Oh my gosh. I cannot, I, I can't clock my lace. Using my Kenra working spray in the number 14 and my hard bristle brush instead of my hot comb does the job equally as well because it gets your top so flat all you have to do is just spray some on and just brush it in so camera working spray in the number 14 that's a really light hold and your hard bristle brush brush that thing in girl and all your flowers be gone Yo. now we're gonna just get into the baby hair portion i'm just gonna pull out two uh pieces from each side 
so it's not going to be that much to do and with closures you don't need to do much especially five by five closures and mm -hmm. this wig will have you doing the least for the best look ever this hair is so easy to work with so if you are a beginner this wig is super beginner friendly so just take your baby hair pieces out and once you curl them with your flat iron, your tiny flat iron that you should have already, if you know, you know, you know, just curl those baby hair pieces, cut them or cut them and curl them. And once you're done doing that, we're going to just go in with or got to be glue gel and or toothbrush or edge brush whatever one you use whatever one works best for you i know i used to not be able to use the toothbrush and i finally learned and got the hang of using the baby hair brush but i really prefer the toothbrush better so you know um either or works and you're just gonna do your edges i already probably started mine and literally just work in doing the edges and you'll get it girl it takes time it takes practice it may look easy for me or sometimes it even takes me about five minutes to get my edges how i want them to be but because this closure is so easy it's not gonna take that long so if you are a frontal gal and you don't want to do all the frontal work get this five by five closure wig honey and once you're done doing your edges you can spray them with a bit of Kenra just to get that extra hold and then go in with your blow dryer and always use your blow dryer on cool never try to blow dry on hot air when you're trying to secure your edges down always do it on cool hot air will make your glue start to show up in white bits and you don't want that okay cold to curl I'll be using my hot tools curling iron it is a one and one fourth barrel this is what it looks like and I got it from Ulta for like $79 but we're not gonna talk about that because it's hot tools but it's actually really good so what I'm gonna do is just curl my hair and I'm not going to layer this wig I'm just simply gonna curl it and spray some Kenra in it I feel like that just works best with curls especially because the Kenra isn't as heavy or um, doesn't make the hair as uh, stiff as the Sebastian even though it doesn't really get it that stiff but girl anyways we're just gonna curl I'm not gonna do too much actually I'm gonna curl like this instead of like this so let me just get a piece from here and show you guys how I do the curl I just you know take the hair like this I you know twist it backwards you don't even know girl let me tell you so I put the hair in the barrel twist it backwards uh, I hold it there because that's where like the first curl is gonna drop and if you want it to be like nice and you know bouncy curly especially because we're not using the layering method you want to just stay there for a bit and once you're done you know 15 seconds have passed or 10 you just continue curling so we're gonna just leave this curl in the barrel of hair for about 15 more seconds And now we're gonna just release once you release just keep your hand on that curl right there you know it's hot so you know you just want to play with it but make sure like the curl is still like tightly formed and then you drop it and you see that curl like formed right there where I wanted it to so I really love curl training it helps for my curls to form better and just last longer so I'm gonna do two more I'm gonna do the same thing and I just take that barrel put it where you want the first curl to fall at or form at we're gonna twist 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 and you want to just leave like a little piece of the hair out about an inch or so just because if you pull it all the way through your hair will become loose on the barrel and the curl won't take a proper shape 
so just keep it like that for a little bit you know 15 14 13 yada 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 you just let it fall hold it scrunch it then you just let it fall finally done and now i'm gonna just go ahead and brush these curls out look at them they're so cute yes ma'am this this wig is a banger this is a box that it came in and I got the lamp 20 inch. It is in body wave. I didn't have to layer it. I didn't have to do anything but just cut this lace off. Didn't even have to glue it down because the lace was unclockable from the jump. And I am in love. I want to say thank you so much to Don Millie Hair for sending me this gorgeous wig and for being so patient with me when it comes on to making this video. And I hope it was definitely worth your while because I love this hair so much. And I would implore you all and recommend you all to purchase this unit. It's so gorgeous. It's effortless. And this, this wig is just the business, okay? She's very affordable, by the way, I must say. And um, did we even touch on shedding, shedding and tangling? Um, what is that? We don't know her. Don Millie hair doesn't know her. Um... Who, who is that sorry yeah this wig it, it don't do that we don't do that over here i love this wig so much it's gorgeous she just gives and i definitely will have the links in the description box for you to purchase if you'd like to and yeah i think that's it i don't have anything else to say i just have all good things to say girl so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching and thank you to don Millie for sending this gorgeous wig again and that is it if you'd like to see me in this unit my instagram is at she's your fave i'll leave it on the screen it will be in the description box and i'll post gorgeous pictures of this gorgeous unit on there and that is it so thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next one